You're listening to a special interview segment for the official podcast for WrestlingNewsSource.com. Okay, folks, joining us on the show this week, not one but two guests from TNA. First off, former television and X Division champion Robbie E. And two-time former knockouts and knockout tag team champion Miss Tessmacher. Welcome to the show. Hi. We are What's so going on, bro? I just want to let all of you guys know that I did my hair for your show. We certainly, nice. we certainly appreciate yeah, that. You. you know that that's you know that's a very big compliment for us. What um, a douchebag! <laughs> nobody can see you. You know, you know this is the radio. You nobody can see you. I just want to let you know it looks great. <laughs> yeah, and I'm looking at I'm looking at myself in the mirror while I'm on the radio, Brooke. So yeah, <laughs> right. I know you're standing in the closet right now. So, you know, we, we certainly do appreciate y'all both uh, being on, you know, uh, we've never, uh, never really had a, uh, uh, two people on, on the, yeah. on the phone, especially, uh, two who, uh, get along so well as you two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, so yeah, you know, uh, we're getting ready for, uh, for TNA lockdown. It's going to be taking place, uh, March 10th in San Antonio. Tickets are available right now. It's also going to be on pay-per-view. It's going to be one of the big four pay-per-views. So that's kind of exciting, especially, uh, Brooke, it's going to be in your home state of Texas. We're also in Texas as well. So, you know, that's got to yeah. be kind of exciting. It is pretty exciting. Uh, the last pay-per-view here was when I won, uh, the title, the championship. So of course, um, I kind of hold that close to my heart. I'm just a little sad that I'm not a part of it, so it's a little disappointing. But um, I, I am glad that they are bringing TNA though and into my home state. Very nice. And um, and you know, with the recent announcement that uh, Impact is going to be going on the road, what are y'all? What are y'all's original thoughts whenever they said that? They said, "Hey, we're leaving the Impact Zone. We're we're taking it on the road." It's pretty. Uh, well... <laughs> Go ahead. I was just saying, well, obviously everyone's initial thought was, you know, it's about time because, you know, so many people around the country and so many people in other countries are always regularly asking for our product to be brought to them. Mm -hmm. We only so often will hit a certain city or state for our live events. So for us to bring TV somewhere new, the fans are excited, we're excited. So it's, it's, it's huge, man. It's a big step. Yeah, we've we've actually we've gotten to go to a uh, to a house show a few years ago, and and those are just absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, Lots of fun. Uh, you know, it's a good chance to to meet some of you guys. You know, we we were fortunate enough to to meet y'all not too long ago. Um, you know, it's it's just it's really it's really entertaining. It's really fun. So anyone who uh, even if they don't get to catch Impact on a weekly basis, it's fun for them to go to. Oh yeah, it's a cool, awesome, family friendly event. It's it's really cool for everyone to come out to and see. Very nice, and um, you know, y- y'all are, you know, getting ready for for this week, uh, Brooke. You'll be involved in the uh, Knockouts Championship match. I uh, am. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a fatal four way against uh, Tara, Gail Kim, and Velvet Sky, with with yourself included. Uh, you know, you getting pumped for that? I am, and it's uh, in Wembley, so that's really really exciting. That's the largest arena that I've been in so far. So um, the crowd's phenomenal. Very nice, and uh, and Robbie, you'll be uh, taking on the winner of the British Boot Camp competition, Rockstar Spud, and y'all had a sort of a confrontation uh, not too long ago. So, what are your thoughts yeah, on I him? Did, did, let me ask you something, bro. Did, did you see the confrontation? I, I saw a little bit of it. Yeah, but tell me if you agree with me because I said it was a travesty that he earned an Impact Wrestling contract. Do you agree? Yes. I mean, I said he was a midget. Do you agree? <laughs> <laughs> He, he could have been on the, on the short side a little bit. I, and I mean, and lastly, I said that you know he wasn't a rock star, bro. He was a pizza delivery boy. I mean, do you agree with that? <laughs> he looks like a guy that would knock on my door, bring me a pepperoni pizza. Bro. <laughs> a wrestler, this Thursday, I'm going to make a fool of him. Very nice. He he can't hang with you, man. You you're a star, man. <laughs> I am a star, but hey, by you calling ah, me, this is listen, listen, I am a star, but by you calling me that, don't think you're getting on the list, bro. Because I know oh. what you're up to. I, I was hoping. Like over the phone. And that, that was actually going to uh, lead us into our next question. You know, we saw we saw a couple months ago, Miss uh, Tessmacher, you were unable to get on the list a few months back. Uh, so I have to ask you, Robbie, what would it take for us to get on the list if I'm, she I'm couldn't? Well, I tell you what, you guys, I don't even know you or anything about you. You sound like dorks, but I guarantee you have a better shot of getting on the list than Miss Tessmacher. She's about the last person I would let on that thing. Oh, please, God, you have no idea. This guy here, oh, this, oh, he is the definition of a true hamster, and he's let been passing me, me hundreds on the table begging me to get back on the list. He's okay. begging me. So, listen, first and foremost, when you get on the list, you roll with me in public. 
the last person I would be seen in public with is Miss Tessmacher. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> so, oh, well, you do, no. depending on the way you dress and depending on the places that you hang out and your level of getting women, that would that would base on, you know, if I would let you close to the list. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, uh, I think dress-wise, I'm, I might be out of that one. I'm a, I'm a shorts and shirts kind of guy. Well, then Rob, Big Rob would already be throwing you out of the room, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh. So, uh, you know, what's what's it like uh, working with Rob T? Nah, uh, well, what's it like working with him or what's it like living with him? Me and him are together 24-7, bro. We go to the gym. We got bunk beds. Mine says Big Rob. His says Bigger Rob. We got little cute bunk beds that are on each other. <laughs> oh, how romantic. We watch TV together. We go to the movies together. In fact, we're going to the movies in about 45 minutes together. Uh, we eat dinner together and lunch together. We can together. Not at the same time. But, yeah, man, we do everything together. Like- so. How do you feel watching TV and seeing the Jersey Shore? Do you feel like they're making fun of you? Or the Jersey like, Shore people making fun of me? No, man. I mean, that's that's real life. That's what it is there. Yeah, I know. But, like, I, you know how sometimes TV goes, you know? They say we just need a little more. A little more. <laughs> my life is a little more. I like that kind of stuff. That's the way I live my life. All that crazy stuff that you think is over-exaggerated. At least I live like that, bro. <laughs> Very nice. Um, and not not many people know this about you, Robbie, but you were actually uh, you had a, a, a guest spot on uh, the wrestler, the movie, the wrestler. Uh, actually, I actually I didn't. Oh. Um, my name is in the credits, and everyone thinks I was, but I actually was, uh, supposed to be there for something. And you know, I signed all the papers and everything, but then I actually got booked on like a two week tour of um, actually England, and I was away, and I ended up not doing it. But somehow my name still ended up in the credits. So that oh, was the, cool. I got credit for it and didn't even have to be there. <laughs> that's, a, that's still a plus, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, y'all, were, y'all were both uh, featured on an episode of uh, MTV Made. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> oh, boy. That was something else. <laughs> Just a trip all in itself? Um, I, actually, I mean, it was pretty fun doing it. It's just I'm very disappointed in the outcome. Did you see the, the full episode and see what happened? I did not. I wasn't able to catch that episode. Well, you know, that I think that was like a really awesome opportunity for somebody that really wanted it and deserved it. And I think it was, you know, this girl took somebody else's spot. And um, Tara took a lot of time out of her schedule to be there to help her train her, mm-hmm. as well as Big Rob and Bigger Rob and myself. And in the end, just for her to quit and have her mother bash wrestling as a whole it just it wasn't easy to watch and it was very disappointing yeah and we always we tell people to get out there and and support the local wrestling and stuff like that because that's where they yeah because everyone's got to get a start somewhere you know so i guess the only great thing that came out of it is it does show that wrestling isn't for everyone and it is Mm -hmm. a very tough sport but then at the same time she did uh, waste everyone's time and took away a spot from somebody that you know really could have nailed it and deserved it so Absolutely. Uh, it takes a physical toll, and, uh, you know, you get to travel all over the world. That's one of the perks. And uh, uh, what, what was uh, your experience? How's your, how's your experience in the, in the U.K.? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> Sorry, excuse my voice, by the way. I've been sick for a while. But, oh, that's okay. Um, well, I was really excited to go over there because it was my first time um, with Impact to, to travel over there. Um, I made it to the first show for Dublin um, that evening. Um, about 3 a.m., I guess I want to say the next morning, I started getting sick and vomiting profusely. Oh. I ended up getting what they, it's called a neurovirus. It's like our full drool on steroids. <laughs> and I threw up for over 24 hours straight. Um, we had a, oh. We had another plane ride to Scotland where I threw up on the plane. Uh, that cost me $500 in luggage. <laughs> That little 45-minute plane ride, I blew out my straightener, blew out my uh, curling iron, so that was another $200. <laughs> and uh, the other luggage was another $200. And then I was quarantined in a room with Christy Hemme with a big red <laughs> that actually said quarantine. So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was fabulous. So I missed some little shows other than I got to make the Manchester show and then uh, Wembley. And uh, so... <laughs> it was exciting and very expensive for me. <laughs> so, so not a whole lot of sightseeing, I guess. <laughs> wow. No, a that lot sucks. of growing up and uh, yeah, so it was not great. And Robbie, how many uh, how many people want to party uh, party with you over in the UK? 
I really, I really wasn't happy with it. I ended up going to a, a club with Bigger Rob, and we were had a few drinks. We were having a good time, and then we were looking around more, and more we realized it was a bar where bros like other bros, and that just wasn't our thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then there was a bro dressed up like a broette, and she was hitting on Bigger Rob, and Bigger Rob didn't know that... <laughs> It wasn't a broette, and it was a bro, and I had to tell him that it was a bro and not a broette, and it was a whole mess, and we had to get out of there pretty quickly. So, um, and everyone has yellow teeth and is really white and talks funny, and it just wasn't for Robbie, bro. <laughs> well, it certainly sounds uh, <laughs> like an experience all in itself. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, like we said, uh, lockdown is going to be taking place San Antonio, March 10th. Uh, tickets are still available, uh, and it's also going to be on pay-per-view. It's one of the big four pay-per-views uh, that Impact's putting together. Um, you know, we certainly do have an, uh, appreciate having you guys on. Are, are there any uh, social media sites that y'all would like to plug? Facebook, Twitter, anything like that? Of course. Robbie E. Impact. At Robbie E. Impact is my Twitter. And my website is Robbie-E.com. And I'm sure Miss Tessmacher doesn't have anything to plug, but we don't have to worry about her. <laughs> you need help. You can follow me on Instagram, Miss Tessmacher. Um, also, Facebook under Miss Tessmacher. And on Twitter, Brooke Tess. Awesome. We certainly do appreciate y'all coming on. Robbie E. Thank and Miss Tesswalker, it's certainly been a pleasure. We do appreciate y'all coming on. Thank you.